hello guys welcome back to our channel today we'll be talking about global salaries so if you have ever wondered what your salary would be in different parts of the world you have come to the right place so basically i have already answered this question on my quora profile some time back and uh, it was specifically for canada location converting from canada to india but it was having a couple of million views and there was extensive discussion uh, into the comment box and there were a lot of people who who messaged me like uh, how it would be where does the calculator come from if we can get more information so uh, based on those feedback i have uh, tried to make this into this entire video so let's uh, go into this uh, salary converter so the main term here to understand what your salary would be in one country versus another country is PPP which stands for purchasing power parity so you ask what is purchasing power parity it is it is a very simple concept it it takes like uh, for example if you buy one kg of apple in USA for hundred rupees or 100 usd for that matter and you buy same 1 kg of apple in in uk for 200 so the ppp value would be in ratio of 1 raised to 2 so you would understand more uh, uh, when we convert salaries so let's suppose we go into the typical 100k package of united states so let's select the country as united states and uh, enter 100k which is 1 lakh for uh, we say in India and if we uh, convert it for uh, India so this would be 23 lakh so it says that 100k salary if you are getting in United States uh, it would be 23 lakh for India so in 23 lakh you would be able to afford same lifestyle same uh, grocery same rent and everything what you are able to afford in 1 lakh in United States so you will ask like uh, why do we uh, believe this converter so uh, I will tell you more about it that data of this application comes from the World Bank and uh, it is uh, if we go into this uh, world bank data so it is comprising of over 100 factors uh, if we generally talk in discussion with your friends or someone uh, if your friend is living in germany or uk or us canada australia wherever so th what they would have they would have certain factors let's say 5 7 10 to 15 factors they will tell you about uh, our rent here is uh, this much compared to this country and uh, we are grocery transportation and all that thing but uh, for calculating ppp we need uh, this world bank data have over 100 factors including rbf the central bank interest rate what the inflation is uh, how uh, the uh, interest rate would have been in previous uh, quarters uh, versus how it is going to be in predictive uh, in, in the future and the relative uh, value of transportation grocery your living and uh, all those factors so in general discussion a uh, normal human being can understand 10 to 15 factors so this is where uh, uh, this helps in uh, the world bank data so to better understand like uh, we already have like one lakh of uh, united state was equal to 23 lakh of india so the ratio was one raised to 23 so we can see that in this map we have this map uh, united state value is one and if we'll see uh, india it is 21 because it is uh, we'll see uh, this is uh, 2022 data and uh, in 23 it has risen up to 23 because the inflation is uh, very high not only for this year we can go back in time and understand how the world looked like in uh, let's say 2010 so if we go in 2010 one usd was almost uh, the 
PPP value was 14.48, so almost 15. So if we go back 10 more years more, so how the world looked like. So at that time, one USD was almost 9.96, so it was almost 10. And if we can go back 10 more years uh, before liberalization happened in 1991, so if we go in 1990, so one USD was almost uh, equal to 5.5. .5. So you see, the trend is it is increasing uh, over uh, time period. So in 1990 it was 5, then 2000 it was 10, in 2010 it was. Uh, almost 15 and now in 23 it is almost uh, equal to 23 now so this is how one lakh of usd uh, can be converted uh, to india for uh, that certain value and not only for india this is a global map so you can convert it uh, for one usd if you want to convert it to uh, how much it would be in france so the france would be 0.79 and for germany it would be 0 0.78 so one lakh of united states or 100k uh, if you're getting 100k salary in united states so you need to have 79 pound uh, uh, like euro uh, in into this uh, zone and you can have it for poland or uh, any uh, country within uh, this russia or canada or australia so I think this uh, helps you find out uh, how your salary if you are going outside. The trend has been a lot and a lot of people are going outside and India has the largest diaspora all over the world. So there has been a lot of queries so I thought to make an entire video on this. I will put all the links of the calculator and the World Bank website, this map. In the description box for you to understand it better i hope you would have enjoyed this video as much as i have making it thanks a lot